Kicking off here, repping the Bears and the Falcons. Henry, who is from just outside Chicago, he's always the Bears. And here is the return at Pizza Hut Stadium. Game three out of six to be played today. Henry trying to get to 2-0 against Wesley, and here's Wesley's abilities. Yeah, here we go. So here's that Michael Vick with those escape artists, identifier gunslinger. Still want to see this sideline dead eye work. I'm sure it's work, and I just haven't noticed it, but I really want to see a lot of it more. That Tory Holt playmaker ability, the slot of Maddox, so they really hang on to the ball. I love I, I love the streak specialist, you know, that goes along with it. And as you see on the others page, there's John Ross with the cross specialist, all those routes to help him catch it. And then Taylor Mays with secure tackler on defense. And then, and then, as you guys are used to, get ready for both of them. It's going to be West Coast Bunch. First, and then for defense, he'll be running the Green Bay. Now, we'll talk more about Wesley picking that Green Bay defense. There's a purpose for that. Abilities for Henry. Yeah, so like I said, I love this Josh Allen he has with that conductor. And I didn't really explain it. Conductor means he can make multiple hot routes. And you don't have to have that delay. So that's why that quick snap is so important. He has the John Ross with the cross specialist, streak specialist, and Torrey Holt, as everyone else has them, that post flag. But he doesn't have the playmaker on him, so that's different. And on defense, he has that Taylor Mays. And then with, on, like you know, as everyone knows, on offense, it'll be the West Coast playbook. And on defense, the Jets. All right, let's, Matt, let's see if we can get a 2-1-0 performer out of this group. Henry's got a chance to do that. Wesley, you talked about it a little bit with that Packers defense, and he was telling us that 1-4-6 is something he really feels he needs, especially against Henry. And maybe the player to watch, Skimbo, is Isaiah Simmons, a rookie out of Clemson. Wesley said that's my must-have. When those cards showed up a couple weeks ago, fastest outside linebacker in the game all of a sudden, 10 cap defensive ends work if you have the Isaiah Simmons moved up to outside linebacker. So we'll see how much of that we're going to get into when Wesley is on the defensive side of the ball. And you well, see Simmons, I actually, I, he's yeah, available to Henry too. Right, and he is. And yeah, Wesley's actually on offense. And, and when they, the, you got to notice both these players' rosters, they don't have a defensive ability. So look for them both to mix in a lot of pressure, not just rush three or four, really be mixing in about six or seven. And like I said, they love that adjustment, sending the solo side corner at the cornerback. Mentioned Simmons on both sides here with both Henry and Wesley using him. Julius Peppers and Kevin Green, that's a great edge rush for Henry. Didn't really need that very much in that first game he played against Rage, which was a 16-6 win. And Michael Vick, with some time here, he'll escape and he'll slide for that first down. Great coverage by Henry. No one was open. Great pocket by Wesley to step up and get yards. And that's why you go get Michael Vick. He's able to make plays like that and get you a first down. He's a must-have on that side of the ball. I agree. Madden legend makes a difference. And you put that escape artist on there. Gunslinger. Identifier. He's got the sideline dead eye too, right? I thought I saw that on the abilities for Wesley. Uh, motioning here, he'll have three to the left, including Kellen Winslow, the tight end. I like what he's doing, flipping the formation, something we didn't see a lot of the first game. Oh, man, off the edge. That's what we're talking about. And that time, it was actually Denzel Ward from corner crashing in. Yeah, like they talk about, you know, they're not have even though they have good DNs and stuff, they don't have abilities. So they're really going to try to mix in some heat, uh, you know, every other down just about. Vic looking for Ross on the sidelines, and he's got it. If you notice, John Ross got smacked when he caught that ball. However, Wesley has that cross specialist. So, like I've always said, if you get your hands on the ball without your feet leaving the ground, he's going to catch that ball just about 100% of the time. And, and, and I just talked about sending heat. Henry dropped in coverage, and Wesley had all day to throw it. Both guys have Holt and Ross just piled high with abilities. They both on the defensive side of the ball have Taylor Mays as a secure tackler, so we'll watch for that. Taylor Mays was a big player for Wesley in his first game. He had the pick six against E. Croft. That's crazy because Taylor Mays in the NFL, 80 games played, no interceptions. But what a great player he is in Madden 20. That's the interesting stat. He's going to go for this will route again on the right side. Whoa! 
That's there's your John defense. Ross. There's your playmaker. There's your touchdown. Great, great find by Wesley. He found the cover two beater. It's been a cover two beater in Madden for years. Uh, this wheel route on the right side, motion out. It cooked the man that was on him. He fit it in that window. That, that, that Michael Vick, he just bullets it in there. If it's any other quarterback, it might stay in the air. That might have been picked. Great read by Joe Rice. And a 7-0 advantage as we check the Snickers touchdown replay. I say Joe Rice, I mean Wesley. Look at it, just fits it in that window. That's such a tough pass to make, and he does it. It pays off. He's up 7-0 on his first drive. You couldn't ask for anything better than that. His user steered Henry into another iceberg here. We're only about a minute 40 into this thing. Here is Josh Allen on the run. And as we oh, talked man, about well. in the Henry against Rage game, you know, we're, we're looking here at Skimbo at, at a Josh Allen card that's a 99-grade golden ticket. Henry used that very well. Yes, he, and he still is. You can see first play of the game, quick snap, caught him off guard, got two yards, could have been more. Corner route looked like it, it, it was going to try to open up, but that's what you're just going to see. He's going to quick snap like right there all game. Finding Torrey Holt, who is shy of the first down, and Henry was telling us he considered Andrew Luck because of his skill set as well, running that West Coast offense, but he likes Josh Allen figuring he doesn't need a dashing dead eye. That that's already an ability that, that Allen in this construct possesses. So, well, he couldn't escape there, couldn't get any ability to unlock. He is down thanks to Julius Peppers. Yeah, good good coverage by Joe Rice. The drag by the tight end looked like it was good, about to get open. He was in that animation to throw it. However, in this matter, you know, that ball, it takes a little bit to come out, and his defense got home. He forces a punt, Henry's first drive. And Wesley's got to be feeling pretty good. Henry, oh, remember, Wesley. has a, a very good pedigree. I mean, for a kid who's 17, just turned 17 a month ago, He's number two on the standings board right now. He secured a spot in this field by being the classic runner-up. He lost to Noah. That was a great game at 20 to 14. Crossfield pass and Torrey Holt has got it. Ooh, wow, great read. And you're going to see it. No running back. He's going to be sending out a lot of routes at all time. You know, that max protect scheme. But Joe Rice, he's been a top player every year, and he had a good chance of beating Noah at that game. But Noah, you know, he was unbelievable that whole tournament. And if you're just joining us and, and you don't know the backstory, Joe Rice is how Wesley Gittens rolled for a good long time. But he told us he wants to be his own brand now. The Wesley Gamer Tag was available. So he said, you know what? Fine, I I'm doing it. I'm changing it up. That ball coming loose. Kellen Winslow couldn't hang on. It is so hard. It's even hard for me because I've known him forever. And I've actually fixed it where I just call him Wesley. I guess I'm just getting too pumped up for this game. It's slipping my mind. <laughs> but here comes a big fourth down, a huge fourth down for Wesley. Henry desperately needs to get off the field. Henry's got Ryan Shazier. He's got Peppers. He's got Green. He's got guys that can come hot at him. But back in the coverage. And that is not going to work out. Couldn't get the user hit stick engaged in time and a big fourth and six conversion. Uh, that's just great by Wesley. Sometimes Madden's a guessing game whether someone's going to send heat or not. Wesley decided to send out all five routes. And then um, actually Henry went in coverage, so he had a lot of time. If Henry would have brought any kind of blitz or any kind of pressure, it would have hit home. However, he dropped in coverage. Wesley had all day, found the guy wide open going across the middle. Henry behind by seven. He's not quite the GOAT yet, but he has the aspirations. Wesley, by the way, speaking of GOATs, he lives with 20 of them. The farmland that he and his family are on, he was telling us earlier this week, there's 20 GOATs on his yard. And there, in some open real estate, is another sack. Down goes Michael Vick. <laughs> And you would think, you know, Wesley would have a little bit more strength, maybe bigger arms, you know, that country boy lifestyle. But, yeah, you know, <laughs> it, it is what it is. But here we go. Henry sent some pressure finally, and it came off the edge. I, I just want to see him send more pressure because Wesley looks really comfortable. Wesley's such an interesting guy to talk to. 
We'll get more into his story in a bit as Vic goes down one more time and hot off that edge. Marcus Lattimore, who was really big in game one today for Henry against Rage. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to see Henry do. Send the blitz. He had people wide open, just missed him. Look for it to come again. Go on a third and 21. That's a big chunk of yards. And now, this is interesting. You can kick a 50-yard field goal, or do you go fourth and four? No, he'll kick it. It, it's tempting. It's really, really tempting as he's going to nail this field goal. It's really tempting as a Madden player to just go for it because you're like, it's only four yards. Smart, smart play by Wesley, though, to go up two possessions right there. And Wesley's on a hot streak. He's cashed in in six of the seven EA major events that have been played of late. And now let's see if Henry can get something going here. We're about midway through the second quarter. But the only the only thing, and I had this problem too, and, and Henry's smarter than I am, but when I do this style of play, he's trying quick snap, you know, go quick. I don't think things through. I kind of just roll with it. I feel like he really needs to, I, and I, this is the style, but he really needs to think about the rock combination he's sending out before he gets the line. It's fine that you're quick snapping, but don't just rush through it. He really needs to think about what he's doing with his route combinations because Wesley, like right there, is playing unbelievable defense. Nothing's open. Henry, who knocked off Joke and Mills and Young Kiv to get to the Madden 20 Classic Finals back in September. He has just been rolling from there. So, yeah, two guys who have some momentum in this sport right now. They're staring each other down as Josh Allen goes to work. And Ross able to hang on, move those chains. I love that route combination. It's one of my favorite. You got a motion over pose with the cross coming to the other side. Your user has to pick. And something that I don't do very well, put my tight end on a route. He had a tight end on a flat route. So he had a high low with honestly two highs. So that's that route combination is really good. And Wesley now probably needs to send some heat when he sees stuff like that happening. He'll find Josh Cribbs who tumbles down. He was right on that first down stripe. It'll be interesting to see, yeah, they're, they're going to call this second in inches because of all that wiggling around back and forth. I, I, yeah, and that's another great call. He's finally, I'm loving the play calls now, uh, he, but he has all day. And as a, as a defensive player, Wesley probably feels that Henry's really comfortable. I don't know if you get greedy on second in inches, but I can promise you it's coming soon. He's going to send a lot of people here in a second. Henry used to putting a ton of points on the board. He's in trouble here, and down he goes. And once again, great rush from Wesley. That time, Julius Peppers. Who needs abilities when you have Julius Peppers doing that for you? He just got home. That's huge. Now it's a hard third and nine. Second and inches was cool, but third and nine, that is, you hate this. He's got to come up with something. Escaping Warner, throwing cross his body. He finds Torrey Holt. So Peppers, the North Carolina guy, here's the North Carolina State guy instead. It's Torrey Holt at the two-minute warning. So as you see in this tournament, a lot of people have been doing this user rush out of nowhere, just trying to catch people off guard. And a lot of people have been caught off guard and gotten sacked. However, Henry, it's like he's played against it before, and he probably has. As soon as he saw it, he rolled out and made a great read. Allen gets rid of it. And again, if you're just joining us, one of our fun developing storylines, it's fun for everybody but user. He has somehow gone 0 for 12 on his picks here. And we figured it out. If this is indeed a 50-50 coin flip every pick, because this is such a great tournament, figuring that everything is kind of 50-50, we figured out the odds of that are better than 4,000 to 1. So congrats. <laughs> Underneath, it's Winslow. He'll fight near that first down make. We're down to 145 to go in the half. It's third and one. Great pocket. And I know he was a little to the left on his pocket. He's going to hurry up and snap the ball here. He'll get to the end zone, and Ross able to grab it. It's a touchdown. I'm telling you, that conductor ability is just so clutch. You can quick snap so many things. It's exactly what he did again there. Wesley got caught sleeping with his user, came down, had no zone over the top, and he was just too late getting there. Great job by Henry for eyeing that down and finding him. Now he's got to get on defense and get a stop. Winslow returned it very well for Wesley last game. This time it plows his way to the 30-yard line. And there is 17-year-old Henry Leverett 
And knowing that he's right back in this thing, it's time to make a defensive stop. It's just, it's unbelievable at that age. I couldn't imagine me as a 17-year-old when I was playing, you know, basketball and baseball, then all of a sudden saying to my coaches, you know, hey, I got to go win about 60-something thousand dollars as a high school kid. That's, that's amazing he gets this kind of, you know, opportunity. And same for Wesley, who, you know, well, let's face it, he did not have a great 2018 season. He was trying to juggle a full-time college course load. He went 0-4 in majors and went to his parents and said, look, I I've got to, I mean, I want to do Madden. I got to take this more seriously. So he dropped the full course load since then, 18 and 5 and 19 and 5. So he, he's committed to it and he's good at it. Look out. Ooh, Michael Vick see. is dragged down. It's just, it's that feel for the game. Henry knew Wesley was comfortable, so he decided to send a lot of people. I think third and 20, either protect the sticks or you send the goons again. Henry trying to get to 2-0, would drop Wesley to 0-2. A lot of Madden left, and in the coverage, third and 20 now. So Henry has held. Oh, great defense. That could have easily been a pick. I don't know if he manned him up or what kind of zone was that, but to have that corner come over there and pick that streak, you don't even see that this year. This is not a good punt. He's going to be able to return it. Oh, but Krebs can't quite wiggle free. And I don't know if you're sensing it too, Skimbo. You know, I mean, sometimes the air gets let out of a balloon, sometimes very slowly with a small hiss instead of with a loud pop. It just feels like the, the balloon for Wesley is losing some air right now because Henry is starting to get some things done on both sides of the ball. Yeah, and I got a little sidetracked because I was going to explain it last drive for Wesley what he needed to do. He needed to take the whole clock, get three. He didn't need to leave Henry with a possession. However, I think it took 30 seconds for his drive, and it's over. So now here's Henry with possession. He needs to take the clock, get in field goal range. I'm serious when I say this. This might be the longest game of the tournament. I'm very curious if it will be. Now, we are not expecting run plays at all. That's a good look to Torrey Holt, who gets blasted right at the midfield stripe. So he's saving his timeout. He's going to hurry up and snap this ball, which he, all he does is hurry up and snap the ball anyway, so this is fitting. Does he want all of it or just some of it here? He's got Ross open, had to come back to it, and he's wrestled down inbounds. Timeout taken. Great job, great pocket, and then he rolls out and finds him. His O-line really held for him right there. As you're going to see, he's going, Henry, he's the master getting over the top. He's going for seven. He doesn't care for three right now. But the clock runs out on him because, again, hot off the edge is a fine right. player. That was Brian Dawkins that time. Yeah, but it changes everything. That sack really changes everything. And Wesley is trying to play a little bait game with him, calling a timeout. He wants him to take another sack. Do something stupid because another sack might get you out of field goal range. I, I don't, I kind of like it by Wesley. It's a gambler because you're giving Henry another try with that timeout. Because Henry was going to be settled and he was going to go into the half with that field goal after that sack. But now he's in a position where he could do something stupid. Well, at least he didn't take the sack because he serpentined back. But I was right there with you for a moment, thinking that, wow, that, that's not the most intelligent uh, backpedal right there. Oh, my goodness, Josh. He almost got sacked and out of field goal range. Now Henry is going to just sneak it or hand it off. And Wesley's trying to really blow it up. He's trying to get him out of field goal range. Well, Samuel's got the yards he needed right there. It's fourth and eight. Uh, Josh, for people, oh, he didn't kick it accurate, and the wind's blowing five miles or left. I, I think he'll still get it, though. Yeah, but it wasn't a straight shot. Good call by you. 10-10 tie. Go ahead, Skimbo. Oh, my goodness. He almost missed it. But what I'm saying, if you play competitive man at home, you know what the animation you saw Wesley's DN shoot free. He could have easily blown that up four yards behind the line of scrimmage, and he would have been out of field goal range. Huge huge couple yards he got right there to stay in field goal range because he almost got took it out take it there is henry already three for three getting into these tournaments he's had a perfect year in that regard and for wesley his fifth ea major already after pretty much a wipeout in 2018 
Very solid 2019 and trying to cap a decent 2020 now. Last play. And Michael Vick just throws it away. Yeah, 10-10 at halftime. And we thought we would see an exciting game. We thought we would see an even game. And that's what we're looking at. It's a 10-10 tie at the break. It's been, Josh, it's been a great game, honestly. I, it's just, I can't believe I'm saying this because people said the opposite. It's so refreshing to see two passers going at it, even if they're in bunch, because in years past, that's the last thing people wanted to see. Hey, by the way, make sure your EA account is linked to your Twitch account. Receive Twitch drops for a chance to score a nat 95 OVR. Rob Gronkowski, it's always great to have Gronk on your squad. Just ask the Tampa Bay Buccaneers about that. Make sure you're getting with us on a Twitch. There's that Gronk card. It's going to be an interesting NFL season. Hopefully it gets off on time. We've done, I think, amazing work getting this off to you. And, and big props that we'll get back to in a moment. We're talking about Henry at 17 and Noah at 17. And in this D group alone, two teenagers here, Henry and D-Croft. Oh, my goodness. I tell you, if I was walking around in high school, if I was walking around with college with this kind of stuff, with this kind of belts, this kind of money, Oh my gosh, I would be swagging so hard every day. It doesn't, it wouldn't matter what you said to me. I would just look down at you. Skimbo, you know about this one because you're a moment of the year winner yourself. Do you have a, a thought here is, is that voting has begun for our Snickers moment of the year? I think they're all good moments and anyone who knows me, Books is my boy, but I really think it comes down to Mo and Volturax. That was pretty cool to see Mo get back on top, honestly, because he even said himself, you know, he's down for four years, or Scott Cole said that. And then Voltrax play, I mean, that did help him win $100,000. That's that's hard not to vote for that, too. In my opinion, it comes down to those two. How quickly did you get through your year's supply of Snickers, by the way? Five months? Seven? Uh, it was quick, man. I'm not going to lie. It was kind of like what user said. You get a box. I was giving away boxes <laughs> left and right. <laughs> Ross wiggling. John Ross could go. Look at that move. The stick to the house. Touchdown, Henry. I'm telling you, if you're not ready out of half and he's done it all game, he's really going to quick snap you and get that ball off. He, it's just it's just this conductor ability, he's putting it to you so well. You always ask yourself when you're building a cap team, am I wasting cap? He is not wasting cap at all, getting all these hot routes off. One of the conveyor belt of speed guys that Henry has at his disposal. That was John Ross. Here's our sticky Snickers replay. Just rolls out, waits for that cover two to come down. Then cuts in front. Very greedy. Wesley got greedy going for a hit stick and wanted the ball to come out. He cuts in front of his face and goes to the crib. What a comeback for Henry. Last 17 points of the game to go up by seven. And maybe, maybe, Get user off the schneid, maybe. I don't know. He's got a lot of dark magic working against him. I'm telling you, I don't. I don't know, man. It's there, it's still a lot of mad to be played. Michael Vick will get thrown down to bring up third and long. There's little Julius Peppers one more time. 160 sacks in the NFL. Kevin Green is on this team as well. He's got 160 in the NFL. It's great, great covers. No one was open, and then finally when someone was going to be open, the, the blitz came in, and now he's sending the dogs at him. Did he pick it up? Oh, he is right on that line. It is a first and ten. Hey, and that's the difference between Michael Vick and Josh Allen. If that was Josh Allen, we're going to have about a fourth and four. But, but because he has that 99 speed, Michael Vick, he got the first down. So he, ha he saves himself that panic of going through a fourth down. He gets the first down because Michael Vick's legs. If you watch the game right before this one, you, you might remember that seven times Michael Vick got sacked by Decroft. Wesley seems to have figured something out here. He's been dumped, I think, two or three times in this one, but it's certainly not seven. Right, and here comes that Michael crossing Vick. route with the post. Yep, got it to Ross, who has been the key player, really, for both of these guys. And we always tell the story about John Ross, former member of Snoop Dogg's All-Star Pee Wee League in the L.A. area. And because Snoop is so tied in with Madden, we're always happy to 
give a little love out that way. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, Wesley's down seven. You know, it's no time to panic because with how he plays offense, he can get big plays at any time. He has one of the best shotgun bunches every year. We saw Henry drop his Ryan Shazier back into coverage. Throwing, it's Ross again. Oh, and he couldn't hang on. Oh, man, I just, that read's not it. He had the post route naked going across the middle. He would have had 30 to 40 yards on the post route. He got greedy, wanted a touchdown. Henry's user never came off of it. Wesley almost caught a break. If you play Matt, you understand Henry's guy didn't animate for the ball, and Wesley's guy did. If he would have landed on his feet, he would have walked in for a touchdown. Wesley trying for the comeback, the high pass, and the leap by Holt moved those chains. The pressure almost got there, causing the ball to be higher than what it should have been. But that streak specialist, it didn't light up. So it's, that wasn't because he has streak specialists on him. That just means Torrey Holt's a dog and came down with that ball. <laughs> Great hands by Torrey Holt. Vic underneath, and Samuels is belted. He'll go backwards here as we get midway through the third quarter. Henry by seven. It's just this is one of those drives where you have to get seven. You don't want three. You're cool with three, but you definitely don't want it. You have to get seven because Henry, after that last play, he might have found something on offense, and I don't know if you can keep up the points with Henry right now. He's got Cribs to the crib. Today. It's a touchdown. A We're a point away from a tie game. It's just, you know, these guys kind of created, in my opinion, this corner blitz off the solo side. Henry saw it and attacked it. You're going to watch in this highlight. He blitzed his corner, and his safety did not roll over the top. He threw the comeback route early, and he just ran. You're going to see it. This was a great read, a great hot read. I know it looks wide open, but it's not as easy as you think. Josh Cribbs, a former golden flash of Kent State, flashing freed on that left sideline. We are tied. Unbelievable, great find. Like I said, it looks like just a simple pitch and catch. But man, the heat that comes in this Madden is so crazy. He might have him over the top. Oh, and he does! Wow, what a throw, and there's Ross yet again. <laughs> I, Josh, I think this is probably what you wanted and what the people wanted. We're seeing guys air it out, right? We've been waiting for a long time for a game like this. If you love passing, you love Group D because that's that's a, you're going to get a lot of that stuff right there all day. The Google traffic for people trying to figure out Gail Sayers' career, it has slowed down in this game. A lot of that, a lot of dots. There's the touchdown to Ross. It's just, it's, it's just crazy how quick he snaps the ball. That I'm telling you, it, it's just, it's paid off so much. He caught Wesley with the user come down, snapped it, hit the streak specialist over the middle. It's just, Henry, they're both in a zone right here. It's just, it might be who has the ball last. Both guys have used that John Ross to a major advantage here, a 24-17 shootout. And it, I mean, seriously, with, with the meta the way it is right now, 24-17, I'm sorry, Skimbo, that's a shootout. Oh, it is, absolutely. It's a shootout, any Madden to score that many points, and we're only in the third quarter. It's payback for you and me. We had all those seven and three, six, nothing games a couple days ago. Dive and catch on the sideline. Hello, Josh Cribbs. He didn't, he didn't get in bounds, though. If you watch the replay, he landed on his body and rolled out of bounds. He didn't get any parts in bounds. Yeah, he kind of body surfed his way to the sideline. So you're right, incomplete, second and 10. About 250 passing yards both ways right now. And Vic with the pocket breaking down. He'll throw on the run looking for Samuels. How about that? It's Samuels to the house. We're going to be tied again. I was about to credit Henry's defense and say, look, he left. Everyone was guarded, and the only person he left open was the running back. And I was about to even get into my sentence saying, you know, Wesley's not going to look for his running back. He's going to look him off, throw it out of bounds. No. I think I, Henry thought what I thought. There's no way he's going to throw it at the last second he did. 
And if I'd have told you there would be a play like that made by a North Carolina State guy, I would have told you Torrey Holt, right? But 67 yards to the running back out of NC State, Jalen Sanders. It's just unbelievable. These guys are putting up a show. I hope everyone's, you know, really, and you're going to see another dot right there, and he hangs on, doesn't fumble. I hope people appreciate this after what we've seen. If you like run, that's great. But if you, lo if you love the pass game, watch these guys, because it is unbelievable what they're doing, because there is so much defense in Madden 20. Henry's got 282 yards through the air right now. That's so much defense line, by the way. That's what Noah yelled at Wesley. Famously, not too long ago, that was the, the Madden challenge. Where is the defense now when you need it? Samuels underneath. Well, you know, it was a little different then because that's draft champions, and in draft champions, you don't get to pick your playbook. You don't have abilities. So, it, you know, I'm not saying, by the way, Noah's defense was unreal. But Wesley didn't have all the tools he has now, and neither does did Henry. When you see these guys have the playbook they want and the abilities they want, they look really, really good on offense. There goes Josh Allen. He'll set and just fire out of bounds. The way these guys are moving the ball right now, you can envision one of these guys pulling confetti out of their hair and putting a belt up over their head at some point once we're back to being in front of each other. <laughs> it's just, it's been unbelievable. And here comes the motion over quick snap again. Allen on the run, diving catch. Did they get the feet inbounds? Josh Cribbs, no, going to be fourth and four. That's the only knock. Crossing routes are great, but anyone that throws these crossing routes, no. When it comes to the sideline animations, they don't get the best ones to get their feet inbounds. They love to jump for the ball. It's not like a post route. It's not like a corner route where they really drag them. These crossing routes, it's tough for these wide receivers to get their feet inbounds. And huge fourth down. One last B12 shot in your console here. Do you have it? You do! You got Krebs crossing, move those chains. Oh my goodness. Wow, we got a 24-24 coin flip heading to the fourth quarter. Wesley and Henry are going back and forth here. And what a finish we're setting up for. Game three out of six to be played today. So glad that you're with us. This is why we love Madden, right? And heading to the fourth quarter, presented by Creamy Snickers. You're not smooth when you're hungry. Oh, no, no, don't try to This party's garbage. That bad, huh? It is that bad. It's like a bag of zero. Try this Creamy Snickers. You can use a little smoothness. Is that one of the zeros? Get smooth with the fresh ground nut butters and Creamy Snickers. Well, now it's about strategy and skill as we get into the fourth quarter. Both teams are moving the ball. One stop, or dare I say one pick right now, Skimbo, might change everything. I, I believe you're right, Josh. I feel like whoever gets that stop's gonna win this game because right now they look unstoppable. Henry with the ball in a 24 all time. He's got Torrey Holt, turns it upfield, and he'll just take a seat. Oh, man. Um, I'm just thinking, man, like, we got to remember, Wesley's 0-1 here. If you go 0-2 in your group, it is hard to get out of that. He really needs to just get a stop and hold Henry to three because the last thing you want to do in group play is go 0-2. Allen with those 317 passing yards already. Instead gets taken down by Peppers, who's got three sacks for Wesley. Pepper's been unbelievable. Look for this crossing route, post route combination again. Allen surveys, and he'll throw it incomplete. Hey, Josh, I'm not going to lie. He's lucky he had a pressure and accurate because Wesley's click on was A1. He clicked on and cut in front of that wide receiver. It would have been picked if he would have threw that ball in the money. A lot of 1-4-6 from Wesley out of that Packers playbook. Allen has got his man. He's got Samuels again. That little safety valve running back. It's going to be first and goal. Oh, it's like Wesley said, hey, look, I can throw, uh, you know, I throw to my Samuels. And then Henry's like, look, I can do the same thing back at you, buddy. And like I talk about here is, uh, okay, so in the, in the red zone, he doesn't like bunches in a spread formation. Curious to see his route combinations.
Winslow, the tight end to the right. Allen playing bumper cars, moving right, throwing, end zone, almost picked off. Such a oh good my too. goodness, that is next level Madden by Wesley. If, I think he was a second too late, but I'm glad he did. He clicked on, Henry threw it, and he almost got position to pick the ball. That was a pretty gambling throw by Henry because you're in good position right now. 3.24 to go in regulation. Allen on the run. Allen goes down. <laughs> well, it's just crazy. He gave up right there because he didn't want to take a sack and get hit. So he clicked, you know, the buttons that, you know, go down. But he had the guy on the sideline, but he didn't trust him because of how good Wesley was last down. Allen to the end zone. Across is Samuels. Unbelievable to give that up. You know, if you play against Bunch in red zone, you know the first thing you need to take away is the running back will out of the backfield because that's what everyone looks for. And it was just wide open. Well, the good news, I suppose, if you're Wesley, you know you can score. You've done it a bunch. Well, Winslow looked like he was running on ice right there. Down he goes hard as he goes back to that touchdown. Just running back Will coming out of the backfield. He didn't have it manned up, didn't have a zone there. Wide open as a man player. You just think in your head like right there, how do I give something up? I know. And look at Henry, he's switching up his defense. Again, Henry does some next level stuff. We got to mention about Wesley and single eliminations in a tournament not too long ago it was down 10 with two and a half minutes left against our buddy T. Davis. And he came back and won. Now, this is a guy who has right. rallied in the past, right? Yes, he has. And you look, um, Henry's dropped into this nickel normal formation. He has him over the top. Will safety get there, though? John Ross can't hang on. That ball up in the air long enough for Dante Jackson to come back and make a play on it. It's just that's such a tough pass to make because you're rolling left, throwing it across your body to the right, and that gave a safety a chance. Look for a lot of pressure here. Third down and six. Gets it away, but I think a little short, right? Looked like he tumbled down at fourth and one. Absolutely. Biggest play of the game, fourth and one. If he doesn't get this, this game's pretty much over because you're giving Henry really good field possession. He's, this has got to be your best play. From around this part of the field, Henry against Sirius Mo not too long ago. It went quite the other way. Come on, Vic let's go. Firing incomplete. I, I love it. I love the defense by Henry. He sent the dogs, and he had man press on that side. His wide receiver couldn't get off the press, just completely backed up. And then he's passing the ball. I can't believe this. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I'm just about to ask you, Skimbo, don't you want to just munch as much clock as possible right now? I mean, yeah, he turned into a, a hit stick from Taylor Mays. If you throw a pick, you're giving Wesley a chance. I don't understand it. I don't agree with it at all right here. Unless you take a bad sack, at least you're kicking a field goal, and that would make it a two-score game for Henry. So maybe that's the strategy. That's a huge first down there. Ah, I feel like all I do is criticize the young man at the end of games. I praise him all game, and then I just <laughs> criticize him because I'll be honest, I don't agree with this at all. I think he just needs to run the ball. Thank you. There you go. And he gets elbowed down by Taylor Mays, but we're down to 25 seconds left. And somewhere on a distant coast, user is getting ready to put his dancing shoes on, because maybe he's finally predicted one correctly. He is, and I don't understand why he doesn't take a field goal there. I, I, I'm over it, though. Henry with the great win. That was 